Hello guys, welcome back to Conversations with Juan and Tix. Hi Tix. Hey, how's it going? Good, good, super happy. I love user testing. So today we're gonna to talk about five things to consider before you get into actually testing because a couple of things tend to happen. Number one. Number one, so obviously people first, participants. So consider who are you going to be using in the testing and always have a backup plan, right? So you've seen that where some people are sick or they can't come have a backup plan and also provide them with an incentive. So often that can be um, monetary um, related just to make sure that, you know, everyone's happy on both sides. Mm. What is number two, Juan? Number two, it's really important to have a clear moderation guide. So the moderation guide is a document that would allow you to have a consistent test throughout all the different sessions. And sometimes you don't want this, but sometimes it happens, you may have different facilitators. So the moderation guide has goals you want to have a set of tasks that you're kind of assessing by prototype. You wanna make sure that you have a list of all the things that are needed. If you're testing uh, on Android and iOS, you wanna have two different phones, two different prototypes. So the mod guide is definitely gonna help you that. And if you can track all the progress on all the tests that you may be doing, which Tiggs will tell us later. Moderation guide, don't, don't not do it. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have it, it's clean, organized, and it'll help you to have consistency through your research. Next one. Next one, Juan. So, and this will also be included in the mod guide. Make sure you plan out where you'll be holding it, the space, before you get into all of the testing. So think about, is the space good for what you need? Um, can everyone get there? You might have a two-way mirror, you know, that you see in those crime shows so that you could have some people with the working with the people testing in the room, but also kind of observing from afar. You could live stream it, you know. There's, we were saying there's no excuse not to see in this hybrid world. So just think about all of that um, and include it in your mod guide before the user testing. What is number four? Number four, we've seen it before, uh, sometimes product owners or product managers want to test the whole thing. Mm. Uh, it's really tricky to test everything in one session. Think about you have an hour. So the best way you can do this, plus a bit of a warm up questions, right? So the first thing you need to do is establish the scenarios that you want to test or very specifics on the feature. Make sure you write in the moderation guide how this task is going to be implemented. So when the facilitator goes and gives instructions to the to the to the tester they know exactly what they're testing so the way it works you just create a scenario a scenario could be a global thing uh, as a user i want you to test you know um, wi-fi speed or something like that so then you know that the prototype has those features so the user can go and figure out how they would test that wi-fi speed um, provides clarity helps direction and then you will uncover the right insights on your experience scenarios and tasks are super important. Next one. <laughs> Next one, number five, the last one in this video is post-test evaluation. So obviously during the actual testing, you'll be asking them questions based on the scenarios Juan just talked about, but it's also great to get them while they're fresh to kind of evaluate the whole process. So that can be with something like an LTR, likelihood to recommend, um, that lets you provide data in more of a quantitative way, which is is great when you're sharing findings with the rest of the team um, and you can get an NPS net promoter score out of that, which gives you more an of an idea of how users are perceiving your product. Um, another one is the Microsoft desirability test. You can word cloud um, and provide suggestions to the users so they're not picking it out of nowhere. Um, just some ways to quantify that and evaluate while they're in the testing mode. Um, so obviously, yeah, plan that one ahead of the testing yeah. um, and that's it for this video anything else you want to add on user testing Juan? no well it's something that uh, you will definitely uncover a lot of insights I always say uh, it, it's not going to tell you all the story it's not going to tell you everything about user like users sometimes don't know what they want mm -hmm. but if there's an issue in your experience you're definitely going to unmask that or or reveal that to the team quite uh, quickly. The other thing I would add is user testing is key to keep your engineers, the business, the designers and everyone around, even marketers, uh, aligned because then everyone can see the perception of the, the experience. So, so you know, if you need a bit of a hand with user testing, we love doing them mm -hmm. and yeah, just hit us up. <laughs> hit us up, get That's in touch. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Chicka bam bam, blue melon. <laughs>